Hi everyone, I'm Ezra Weinstein, the CEO of Coreware, and I'm excited to record this video for you. Uh, for those of you who I haven't met in person, I figured I'd turn my camera on, but I'll actually go ahead and turn it off so we can just focus on the screen itself and uh, you won't get distracted. So today I wanted to introduce to our firearm dealers a really exciting feature uh, that we added in the system in this last update. Uh, today is July 7th, and uh, we actually released the update tonight. I figured it would be easier to record a video showing you this feature rather than documenting it uh, completely. A lot of times pictures are worth a thousand words, so hopefully this will hold true for this particular case. What we did was we actually added a whole new feature for handling firearm transfers from uh, other FFLs. So to get to the screen, you just need to click on your bound book and you'll see there's a few menu options now directly uh, under the bound book module. And the last one is the firearm transfers. And when I click that, uh, we actually show you the dashboard, which has all of your firearm transfers. So typically, uh, you won't have any of these checked. So you'll see this screen where I can quickly search for a transfer. I can hide completed transfers if I want to hide those. And I can also uh, create a new transfer. So you'll see here we have different statuses. Uh, by default, we have a new status, customer notified status, picked up and canceled. You can manage the behavior of those statuses and you can also add new statuses to the system. To do that, you would just click on the right side on the dot, dot, dot menu. And we only have one option under here called manage statuses. We'll go ahead and click that. And you'll see here, we've got our four statuses that come with the system. I can add a status. I can also delete a status. Typically, you wanna make sure you have at least a status that's designated as new a status that's also picked up and potentially a canceled uh, status if that uh, applies to you. Now, in terms of the statuses, the statuses can be intelligent. If I go into uh, a status, you know, I can actually choose certain rules, specifically in terms of notifications. So I can actually choose to notify a customer via email or via SMS or both, in fact, if you wanted to send both an email and an SMS, uh, you can do that. To send SMS messages, which is text messages, uh, you need to make sure that you set up an account with Twilio. And if you have any questions or problems with that, uh, we'll be glad to help you. But that is our text messaging provider that we connected into. It's what most companies use and uh, they offer really the best pricing as far as sending texts. So you'll see here also we can specify whether this status is actually designating a new transfer that just came in, if it's picked up or if it's canceled. So these are just some intelligent checkboxes so we know what the status means if you decide to change the verbiage. You can also change the color of the status as well and you can change the sort order and that just determines what order they show up in the dropdown. So I'll go ahead and close out of the status screen and we'll go right back to the firearm transfer dashboard. And you'll see here, I've got various different transfers. You know, I've got one where I have the customer notified. I've got a picked up status. I can check any number of these transfers. And at this point I can actually print tags. So we will have, uh, or we already do have the ability to print a label. And if you need a label designed, you know, we can help you with that. Just contact our support desk uh, with, from within uh, help.coreware.com. Um, you can also change the status. And again, you can change multiple records or you can just change one record and you can change that stat, the status of uh, any of the selected records. We also have an Excel export option. So that gives you the ability to export this information to Excel if you wanna create a report or do other work uh, outside of the core store system. So let's go ahead and create a new transfer just to show you how easy it is to handle a firearm transfer. So the first step is 
Uh, actually, you can type in the FFL number. Uh, you can add a new FFL if they don't exist in your system. In this case, I'll just type in an FFL number that's in our system already. Uh, if you needed to add a whole new supplier, you can just do that by clicking on that green button. And once you finish adding that supplier, it'll take you right back to the screen. So uh, it's really quick and easy to add a new uh, FFL and you can search the FFL uh, database so you don't have to type any information in. Uh, next, you'll either add a new customer or choose from your existing list of customers. I can just start typing in their name. I can select them from the list. In this case, I'll just choose John Smith. Um, now, again, if I have their contact information, which show all of that here. So you know what, let me, let me just go ahead and choose myself since I've got all my information in here. All right, at this point, we're going to add the firearm that's being transferred. Now, the beauty is you can add multiple firearms, so it's not just limited to one firearm. One of the big changes that we did previously when you were doing a transfer, there were a couple of ways to do it. Either we direct you to go into the bound book directly and then create a suspended transaction, or you know we were advising you to go into the receiving screen. Again, it was a multi-step multi process. This is all one step, so we're trying to really ease your pain uh, and, and make transfers a whole lot easier to process. So this, this new screen, I think, will cut down uh, your workload tremendously when it comes to uh, how you manage your transfers. So one of the changes that we made was that now we actually have a generic non-stock item in the system uh, called firearm transfer. So this way the transferred firearms are not sitting in your inventory and therefore they don't count towards your inventory valuation uh, in the store since they're really not part of your inventory. And they also, uh, by doing that, your sales numbers don't get affected, your average costing doesn't get affected. Uh, you don't have to worry about creating, you know, a specific item with a you know, what we used to recommend is put a T or something at the end of the UPC code. So this really takes into account all of the headaches that we had before and hopefully eliminates them completely. So in this case, what I can do is I can just start searching for an item. So if I wanna search for a Glock, I can just do that. And in this case, I'll just choose this particular Glock 35. So again, the only reason I'm pulling up an existing item, and of course it will also search through the distributor database. So if you scan a UPC code, <clears throat> it will uh, bring in the item um, based on that UPC code. And again, the whole purpose is just to save you time from typing this information in. So in the case of this Glock, it already knows the type, the caliber, the model, and the manufacturer. So all I need to do is basically put in uh, my serial number, which I'll just make one up for the sake of this demo. And um, if there's an importer, you can specify the importer. And I'll just click Add Firearm. So at this point, if I have multiple firearms in this transfer, I can just start uh, uh, searching or scanning the next item and add whatever number of items are in this transfer. Uh, and once you're done and you have all your items in the transfer, you can actually just click the process button. And that literally just created the acquisition record in the bound book and it created a suspended transaction in the point of sale. So let's just take a peek at the bound book just to show you what just happened. So if I go into our bound book, uh, what you'll see now is we have a, a book that's dedicated to transfers. So you'll see here at the top are my different bound books, and I've got one for transfers. You'll also see that record number nine is the serial number that I just received into inventory. So all of that information is in here. You don't really need to do anything. The acquisition uh, took place. Um, and at this point, if I go to edit that record, just to show you, here's the information, and you'll notice that the actual item ID is tied to an item called firearm transfer. And if you click on this, you'll see that that item is set up as a non-stock item, which really makes total sense because you, you know what transfers are in stock based on the actual bound book. You don't really need to know that from an inventory standpoint since it's not 
technically your inventory, right? But from the ATF standpoint, of course, you need to know what's in stock. So it's best of all worlds. Um, and at this point, I can also go back to my firearm transfer uh, dashboard and I can click on this particular transfer. Uh, now again, if I want to indicate that I've notified the customer that the transfer is here, I can just check that and say, okay, customer has been notified. And I'll just go ahead and change the status. So you'll notice it changed to customer notified. And then if I want to pull up the transaction, I can just do that by clicking the link to the point of sale transaction. It shows me my suspended transaction. And you'll notice that I've got the firearm already in the transaction, but I also already have my firearm transfer fee. So how is that uh, added to the actual sale? It did that because in my store configuration, if I go to the bound book section, and you'll see we have a uh, updated. I don't know if uh, all of you may have already seen this, but we have an updated store configuration. It's a bit streamlined and organized a little better. It's alphabetical, so you can quickly go to whatever section of the configuration you need to visit. And you'll see under bound book, I have a new option that lets me specify the actual transfer fee. So you'll see over here, I'll highlight that. That's my default transfer fee. All right, so you'll notice it's $25. Now, if I go back to that transaction, uh, you'll see here there's the two items, the transfer fee, and I've got the actual firearm that's being transferred. You'll also notice that I've already created the pending 4473 transaction. So when the customer comes in the door, they can just go to the kiosk, pull up their transaction. You can email this receipt to them and say, hey, you know, just bring your phone in. Uh, you, if you have a scanner attached to the kiosk, which we highly recommend, it can be a really cheap 2D scanner. Uh, you can find them for 30 to $50 on Amazon. There's a million of them. Since you're not using that scanner to scan driver's licenses, you don't need a more expensive scanner. Uh, but if you attach a scanner to your kiosk, um, you can uh, very easily have your customer just come in with their phone, pull up the receipt, and they can just scan that item right there. Now, when they complete the 4473 and you're ready to check them out, of course, you'll just pull up the suspended transaction and you'll go ahead and complete the transaction. The process of completing the transaction is the same if they're buying ammo from you, a holster, and hopefully you're selling them a, a safety class and other items, you can add them to the existing sale and then you can complete the transaction. So you'll notice here on this particular transaction, it's showing me I can't really complete this transaction because I have defined a 24 hour uh, waiting period. So of course, that can be overridden. That's probably a whole other video that we can do. Um, but again, you're just completing this transaction in the normal fashion. And once you complete the transaction, the beauty is, is when you go back to uh, the actual transfer screen, it will automatically show the firearm as picked up, which you'll see on this transaction below this one, it's already marked as picked up. So that pretty much completes the new firearm transfer screen uh, and dashboard. We hope you're really excited about this feature. Uh, our, we get excited when we add a feature that we know is going to save you time. Time is money. Time means you can spend more time uh, focusing on selling items rather than administration. So our goal is to just ease any pain points that we can ease, and that's why we release so many updates. This particular update of July 7th has a ton of new features, ton of exciting uh, updates, and there's a lot more coming. So uh, we wanna thank you for trusting us uh, with your, your business technology, and uh, please keep letting us know how we can make things better for you. Thank you so much, and uh, I appreciate you watching this video.